do you do when you have two major goals and they are actually conflicting with each other? I'm actually dealing with that right now in this very day. So Connie Porter invited me to do a collab about what to do when you have two goals that collide. And I thought this was a super awesome topic to talk about because it's actually going on in my life right now with our financial goals and our weight goals and even with my YouTube goals. Everything seems to conflict with finances. So how do you prioritize which goals are the most important? So I'm gonna put a link down below to Connie's channel and all of the other participants in the collabs and you can catch their opinions on what to do when your goals collide because I'm pretty sure that probably we are not the only ones dealing with this. And I'm guessing Connie is dealing with it if she's putting on a collab about it. it. It's probably a pretty common thing to stress about. As always, I'll create a playlist so you can just like lean back and watch everybody who's participated in this. You can watch what they think about it. Let me get started. Right now, I'm actually dealing with two areas that conflict with our financial goals. The first area is my weight loss and the second area is YouTube. Now, how am I dealing with this? I'm basically having to prioritize of everything going on in my life, what is the most important. Now, for example, I could say that Melina's education is even conflicting with our financial goals because we are paying a crap ton of money to Melina's school to get her ready to go off to kindergarten next year. But I'll be perfectly honest, Melina is our number one priority. Raising Melina well is my number one priority. And while all those other things factor in, her education is above everything. So we are paying that money to her education. Wow, I talk with my hands a lot. Um, we are paying that money to her education because that is one of our number one goals. Raising her to be a well-educated individual is top priority for us. Family, top priority for us. But now where the conflict comes in, let's say with, with our financial goals and my weight loss goals. Right now, we have a goal to get out of debt as quickly as possible. But I have gotten involved in this Elizabeth Benton program and it's expensive. It, it was not a cheap plan and I am pretty close to finishing it and I'm debating about whether I'm going to register for the veterans group to continue on in this plan or I'm going to focus back on our financial goals. I'll be perfectly honest, our financial goals are going to win because I cannot legitimately justify while I have lost a, a significant amount of weight, especially considering my situation and my metabolism and everything. I can't justify paying that amount of money that could go to debt while I'm trying to lose weight. I know deep down inside, I need to be putting as much effort towards our debt payoff. When you start having goal upon goal upon goal upon goal, and you focus on all of them, none of them really get very well accomplished. So I have sat down and discussed actually with Mauricio where our goals should lie. And for us, you know, family and Melina, those are our top goals. Those are our priorities. And then just underneath that are our finances because without a solid financial baseline, we're never going to accomplish anything. And I know that. And so that's my number one goal. Top priority, finances. After that, um, it's a struggle. Is weight loss or YouTube another priority? My advice to you, if you are struggling with this issue, if you are trying to figure out what is more important, you sit down with a piece of paper and you write out what is most important to you in life. Because I'll tell you, for us, family and Melina, Mauricio and I are solid on this. These are our number one priorities. And this is why we spend the money to go down to Colombia while we are getting out of debt. Because I am not willing, Mauricio is not willing to sacrifice family, bonding family relationships to get out of debt. While getting out of debt is our probably number two priority, our number one priority always will be family. So that is going to be first, family first. That is the most important thing to us in the world. 
once we sat down with a piece of paper and said, okay, what are our priorities in life? Family was number one. Having a stable financial future was number two. And so knowing that every single priority that comes up, we look at it in the hierarchy of things. And I got to tell you, while health is extremely important to us, and if we were having health issues, they may be in our priority level, my weight loss would be bumped up. Personally, in the past, it has been. My weight loss was actually over our financial because I was very sick and I needed to make some changes to my life, my diet, my health in order to have a long-term life because what's money if you're not alive? It was a number two priority. And so we had family and then Wendy's health. Having surgery and doing things for my health and helping me to lose weight, that actually was a number two for a really long time. And now that I am much smaller and healthier and I only have a few, you know, small incremental pounds to go, that has actually shifted. It's not off the list because it'll always be on the list. My health is important. But right now, the focus has shifted. Sit down, write out your priorities, and your priorities may not be my priorities. Maybe you are in a situation where you are completely unhealthy and your health is genuinely at risk. Maybe that becomes your number one priority and getting out of debt falls by the wayside. I realize that in this video, I'm basically just telling you to sit down and make a list of your priorities. And it is actually that simple. Just sit down brainstorm, make a list, don't put it in any order, make a list of all the things that you think are important to you in your life. And once you have that list, start ranking them and say, if I had to give up this, would it be worth it to me to give up this altogether so I could have this? So for example, in this particular scenario, would it be worth it to me to give up weight loss altogether if I knew it meant a lifetime of financial freedom? Yes. It absolutely would right now. I hope this helps you figure out what's really important in your life because to me, knowing what is important to you at any given time is actually one of the best things you can do for relieving stress and moving forward with your life. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Thank you, sunshine. Come say hello. Say hello. Mauricio's obnoxious. He thinks he's sick, but really he's just a big wuss. I am sick. He's actually sick, he has the flu. Make sure you click on my big laughing face so you can subscribe to my channel and I'll put two videos up that you can click on. Go ahead and click on those and keep on watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!